Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about everything that you need to know about PCS Ninja role. That is including your salary breakdown, your training phases, how your projects are going to look like once you join the company and how can you upgrade to a higher role once after you join the company and how can you increase your package. So this will be a complete roadmap for anyone who is going to join or who is planning to join PCS as a Ninja Fresher. So let's get started. But before that, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of informational videos for all of you on daily basis. Guys, let's first of all see what are the topics that we are going to cover in today's video. So guys, first of all, we will be seeing what TCS Ninja is, introduction to that. Then we will be seeing the complete detailed salary structure, then roles and responsibilities, training phases and evaluation, domains that you might be interested in, project allocation, bench policy, Upgradation to your digital role, work nature that is in support environment versus development environment and which one you should opt for if given a chance and then hike cycle and performance review. So guys make sure that you watch the video very carefully because along with it I am also going to share some tips on the go while explaining the things. So guys first of all let us see the uh, salary break. Uh, first of all let's see the what is TCS Ninja role okay then we will come to the salary breakdown part. See guys, first of all, the designation that you are going to get will be assistant system engineer. Okay. And the grade, if you talk about it, then it will be C1Y. Okay. Then after one, one year you complete, your grade will be changed to C1. Okay. This is the usual flow that it works. So initially you will be an assistant system engineer and after one year you will become system engineer. Okay. And initially like for one year, yeah, it will not be assistant system engineer. It will be ASET. Okay. Assistant system engineer trainee. Okay. And then after one year, this trainee will be removed and then you will be assistant system engineer. And after that, you will become system engineer. So this is how it works. Okay. So if I have to write the graph, like it will be ASCT, then ASC, then SC. Okay. Now most basic or junior fashion role, this is the, this is the one which is there in the company. Okay. And you start from this and there are many, you know, people in the company who have started from this and has reached till delivery manager. Once you join the company, you will see actual people out there who are currently project managers, delivery managers who have joined the company 15 years, 20 years back at this role. Okay. Now in this role, there will be less responsibilities initially, but you will gradually start learning and then you can take up a higher role. And first six to 12 months, there will be a lot of learning plus adjustment phases. And let me tell you guys, the first year of your job would be kind of tough. Okay. There might, if you got a good project, then your life will be easy. But sometimes, you know, you might not get a very smooth project or the project will not be according to your own skill set or technology. And sometimes the people that you are working with are also not very good. Okay. Sometimes you get uh, uh, not very flexible kind of people. So that is why I'm saying first year of your job will be tough, but don't worry. Okay. You just have to keep one thing in mind that you have to keep on going and you have to somehow complete time. Okay. After that, after you gain some experience like one or two years, then, then you can easily switch with a hundred or two hundred percent hike also from the comp from other companies. Okay. So as I said, you will get slowly get real responsibilities in this role. Initially, you will be like uh, on getting onboarded. You will be having uh, you will be put it on bench. Also, some people will be under bench. Some people will be under project allocations. So in this way, we will be talking everything in detail. Okay. Now talking about training phases in TCS. Okay. First of all, there is explore program if which you are all aware of uh, in which the pre onboarding self paced training is there. Then in office trainings are also there sometimes after post joining. Okay. Like where you will be, they will be training you on some basic things. Okay. Uh, according to your unit and all, but this is not mandatory for anyone, everyone. The next is your project KT. Okay. Now KT is what KT is your knowledge transfer. What happens is for example, you get allocated in a project. Now you are already aware of the technology or not, it, it, that is another thing, but the ins and out of the project, like how you have to log into that project, what things that you have to take care of day to day on day to day basis, right? So there will be like uh, four to seven sessions. You can say roughly like, you know, around maximum seven, of seven days of KT or to 10 days also in some cases, if the, if there is a lot to know. Okay. So what is KT basically? Okay. Some member of the project will be telling you all the work. Okay. Like there will be sessions. They will be scheduling like every day, 30 minutes or like uh, one hour. Okay. Based on the, how much it needs to be explained. And then they will be giving you the knowledge transfer. Okay. Basically, uh, so that what your day to day task will be, how you have to work. Okay. All, all of that stuff. 
now this will be according to your role or domain specific as i told you what work that you have to do in your project it will be according to that and mostly you will be getting this one okay because you are new right so you don't know what you need to work now there are different types of trainings okay like material based trainings instructor led classrooms or virtual sessions daily assignments weekly bi weekly final test apart from this uh, tcs also give you very good portals like you know udemy and then different portals are there on which you can yourself register for different courses and increase your knowledge basically so it is just you it is just totally dependent on you how you are learning okay now let's come to the salary breakdown or your ctc first of all as you are aware as an ninja role you will get 3.36 lpa as the ctc now this is the ctc guys uh, don't think that is if your ctc is 3.36 then every month you will be getting like 28000s or uh, around so okay in your hand ctc is different in ctc there is a lot of things let's discuss that now your fixed compensation if we talk about so basic pay is your 15000 around so per month and then benefits and allowances are 7600 per month so so total fixed monthly will be your 20000 now talking about variable pay so performance pay you will be getting 1700 per month okay and quarterly allowance you will be getting 600 and then city allowance 200 okay now understand one thing that this perform uh, quarterly allowance uh, you will not get every month okay and performance pay also these there are some uh, variable pays or some uh, sections of your salary which you will be getting once in a quarter okay so you have to be uh, fine with it okay but you will get get it properly you don't have to worry about anything slowly you will get to know everything okay now talking about annual benefits so you your uh, uh, sal out of your salary your pf will be deducted and getting saved and you will also be eligible for gtt later on now talking about in hand salary so after all of this you will be getting around 22k to 24k in hand approximately every month okay it might be possible that for the first month when you when you just join uh, it might be a little less because you know you might be joining in the middle of the month or something like that so it might be like around 19k 20k but from second month it will be around 22k to 24k approximately okay now talking about in next important things which is domain allocations okay so guys you have joined the company okay now the most important part comes here is that for example you are very good with development okay you are a uh, development skills or ds or whatever is very good you have never even heard of sap or you have never even heard of salesforce or these types of technologies but the thing is you are assigned into that project now the only thing here is that you cannot deny it okay because these allocations are like total random okay in service based companies so you can be assigned to any technology any domain and your uh, you know opinion won't be even asked okay because you are joining is a fresher and they they are expecting you to work on anything which they assign you so you cannot say that initially they don't know this is not my skill set uh, so i don't want to work on this initially you have to accept any project which you will get okay then still again if you think that you know this project is not per, as per my capability so you have to side by side learn your own technology and then after some time you can switch to another company but here there is very very less chances that you will be getting released from a project which you are already assigned okay that is next to impossible so the domains that uh, generally freshers gets are java sap oracle then salesforce is there support projects okay uh, support in support projects what are there is like uh, uh, like for example a project is ongoing okay and there is a ticket service portal which is like service now or any portal where if there is any issue that the customer is facing they will log a ticket and you have to see what kind of ticket it is okay so you have to give support to them like it can be any type of support okay like uh, your uh, hardware related or it can be any software troubleshooting issues or something like that so those type of support projects also you can get okay so as i told you randomly you will be assigned after onboarding so it totally depends okay it totally not does not depends on your skill set it totally depends on your luck what project you get and you are you will be trained in the assigned domain and gets the projects accordingly as i told you whatever project you will be getting you will be getting basic training and kt and all and then you have to start your work now talking about project assignment and bench policy so guys after your training like the first of all you will join the company then there will be some sessions some mandatory trainings in i evolve that you need to do once you do all of that you may be assigned to a project or you need to find a project by yourself which is also self push basically you will be put on bench but the uh, and you know we recently we have heard about the new bench policy in tcs that if uh, that every employee of tcs needs to be billable uh, cannot be billable uh, non billable for more than 35 days okay which means you cannot stay on bench for more than 35 days if you are on bench then it is a risk okay they can even terminate you in worst cases but guys for all the freshers i would just say this thing that you don't have to worry about it see guys there is already a lot of opportunities in the company and that is why only they have hired you right 
so they already have uh, like you know projects and you know a task for you that is why they have hired you okay so you don't have to worry about bench policy at this point of time i would say only that okay uh, but yeah long bench period is also an issue like for example if you are on bench okay so in just in some case uh, you are not getting mapped and they put you on bench okay and previously i have seen people in tcs being on bench for one year for two years okay when you are bench what does it exactly means you are not having any work you are just filling in your time sheet and this that's it okay you are waiting for your assignment basically bench is what you are waiting for your project assignment but long bench period is always an issue so you should always try from your and there are internal posters in tcs like know me and other platforms where you can post okay that i am looking for a project this is my skill set and different project managers can see your post and they can reach out to you so from your side also you should take some initiatives if you are on a bench for a longer period of time okay so that is why i have written here need to connect net or network internally and guys remember these words or tools which i am telling you like know me and all these are very helpful and as a fresher you won't be like getting much knowledge on it initially you will be getting all of this knowledge after one or two years when you work so that is why this video is very important for the freshers now talking about upgrading from ninja to digital okay now guys uh, this has happened this time also that you know you might have appeared for a digital role but you know you got the final offer for ninja and now you think that you know i actually want to upgrade my role so yes tcs also gives you that opportunity also uh, tcs uh, conducts upgradation exam which will be conducted two times one year in one year okay and when it happens is first exam will happen in between your march to april and then second time it will happen in between your october to november now based on the exam uh, you have to first give the exam once you clarify that if your interview will happen and then uh, you will be like eligible for a role upgradation okay and then your role will be upgraded and your salary will also be revised okay and if you get selected you will be upgraded to a tcs digital role okay so this is the procedure and yeah that exam is also not that easy but you will get to know everything once you join the company now what is support work basically okay uh, what in case if you get a support work so guys let me tell you different scenarios okay i have seen equal kinds of people that some people are there that they actually want to do support work only because they feel that they are not very good with coding okay and they actually enjoy doing support work and that is what uh, they are looking for and some people on the other hand who have development experience and who wants to act who actually loves coding uh, for them support work is not good so it's totally depends on you what kind of work do you like okay so uh in support work what will come okay so basically there is a development team and if they need any support with the systems or something as i told you right system troubleshooting issue if there is any issue that is coming you need to fix it there is taking ticket lodging software okay in which you will be getting ticket assigned to your name so you have to take care of that and you have to resolve those tickets so these types of basic support work will be there now what are the different types of task in under that you have to connect with your clients okay whatever the project that you are assigned their clients you have to monitor product or a service there will be a product that you have to continuously monitor if there is any issues you have to uh, like you know uh, you have to tell it to your manager or whatever okay then if there are any debug uh, like issues which are coming you have to debug it yourself and fix it okay and uh, basically it is not a pure development role and uh, but it is crucial for your delivery okay basically whatever you work you are doing uh, and there is a vast amount of projects okay so what kind of support project you are getting that also depends okay okay now talking about high cycle hike cycles in tcs uh, first of all yearly hike will be there based on your performance review and then average salary increment is 5 to 10% and i would say like 80% of the people get this only guys so you should also expect somewhere around this only and they say in good you can get 15 to 20% in exceptional 25% but i have hardly seen anyone with 25% of salary hike in tcs so i would say you should also keep your expectations low only like within 5 to 10% only you will be mostly getting it how you will get the salary hike basically there will be manager feedback in the system there is a portal called as a speed in which you have uh, in your manager will set the goals for your for you now what are goals okay goals are basically uh, one liners okay your manager will set some basic goals like in one year you need to do two courses okay he will set this goal now uh, there will be a timing when they will ask you to write comments okay to those goals like your goal was that you have to complete two courses in one year and how much you have completed if you have completed two so you can say that yes i have completed two courses in this way there will be multiple uh, goals that will be set by the manager and you have to provide your uh, comments to those okay once you provide your comments then those uh, comments will be reviewed by the Assist, uh, like you know system or your manager and then there is second level of manager also which is your reviewer okay so first level will be manager your direct manager okay in the system and then reviewer is who reviewer is the manager of your manager okay so basically two level of uh, uh, this thing is there uh, approvals you can say after that 
final hike will be there okay like if they feel that yes you have uh, delivered good in the entire year then they will give you a final hike or basically they will be giving you a grade or rating you can say so grade is like a b c whatever and that rating is like uh, 4.5 out of 5 or something like that okay uh, or out of 10 okay if it is there then 9.8 or whatever but i think in tcs it is uh, i'm not sure how much it is so but whatever they will be giving you rating based on that you will be getting a grade now before we close the video some final th thoughts from my end TCS Ninja is a good starting point for all the freshers out there you will get a clear idea of growth path and upskilling and I have seen it is a very good opportunity like you know if you upskill or if you get a good project within two years or three years you can switch and you can get 200 percent of hike which means after two years or three years your salary can even go up to 10 LPA or even more than that okay so your focus should only be performing well and staying updated use upgradation exams also in between if you clarify them your salary will get increased before that only so try all of that stuff and if you have any more doubts you can ask me in the comment section make sure to join me on telegram follow me on instagram as well and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing to the channel for in order to get these kinds of helpful knowledgeable videos from my channel that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time